Hey everyone. Um, first off, I, I know that the film uploads have sort of slowed down a little bit. It's not that I'm um, burnt out of them or anything, they're just quite time consuming and I've been doing um, a million hours at work, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so there will be more coming, but um, today we're looking at something different. This is the uh, Hanamex triple six uh, well it is a triple six t but um i don't think it's written anywhere but um it is one of the thousands of um oh, hello. Uh, pong uh games uh based on the general instruments uh what is it the ay3 8500 incredibly um Fascinating circuit this if you have a look um, these inputs are, are really it's really really simple sort of um, Layout you have your game selector here, which is just shorting out for each of the games uh, They call them uh, different things where they call them like football squash tennis and practice um, It's just a different layout of the, of the field um, Pretty pretty cool actually for um, for the time period um, the player paddle here um, this is the second player. Uh, Hanamex, by the way, was um, is a um, a brand that imported a lot of stuff into. I think I don't know if they were outside Australia, but um, it was uh, a guy named uh, Jack Han, Jack Hans, um, and it's uh, Hans import and export. So that's what Hanamex is. Um, yeah, this stuff was all probably made in, um, I'm guessing, uh, at the time, Hong Kong and imported into Australia and sold under that brand. But as I said, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of, uh, of these home Pong consoles that are based on this AY3 8500. Um, yeah, so the player control here, uh, second player is working. Uh, it's just a potentiometer, that's all it is. All it is is a potentiometer that takes... Uh, the nine volt input and uh, uh, meters it out uh, to the and back to the chip again. The first player is missing, and that is because this one here has come off the power supply feed right there. Uh, so that will need to be soldered back on. So that will fix that. Um, picture isn't. It's like ghosting a bit and, and smearing. Uh, I can see this capacitor here has started. Uh, Electrolytic has started to leak. I will be replacing that. This is uh, the replacement here, 220 micro uh, at 16 volt. Um, this is a, yeah, obviously size things have changed over time. And uh, this being uh, an axial and uh, replacing with a radial. Axial capacitors, they're still available. They're just, I don't know, they're just not as popular anymore. They seem to have sort of been completely replaced with with the, yeah, on the same end. So that's fine, uh, it, it won't short out on anything there. I'll just sort of like run the lead cleanly off to, to one side. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and just a general clean up of the pots and stuff because it is like like all based on, um, yeah, shorting out for the different games. It is actually possible to um, with these to get like a fifth secret game mode by, by like turning the switch in between the different modes. Um, yeah, because it's got like a ball detent on there, and if you manage to um, get it uh, outside of that ball detent, you will unlock a fifth mode, which um, is uh, undocumented in, in the thing. Oh, it's um, it's only available when there is uh, everything is open. So yeah, I'll um, resolder this in and fix this one up here. Why is going? I can see why it's failed because it's just like it's going to be just on there. And as I said, yeah, this one has um, sort of spilled its guts. Uh, it's hard to tell though as well because they've used this like horrible glue down here as well on these um, mylars and and mylars don't uh, well they don't fail like an electrolytics there's no way that that's electrolyte in the traditional sense so yeah as I said I'll, I'll get that replaced and I also had to buy a jack just to get the um, if I don't replace the jack wholesale, I, I have just got the, the collar which is missing. It's a bit annoying every time you plug the power in, uh, the, the, the socket disappears inside the set. So anyway, um, I'll get that re-soldered back together and we'll have a look. Okay, unfortunately this guy, um, yeah, it looks like it was just horrible old glue rather than electrolyte, but that's okay. Um, we've 
and I replaced him there um, and uh, put the second player back on underneath. Let's let's power it up and see how we go. Let me see if I can. Uh, sorry for all the seasick viewers out there. Let's, um, let's have a look at what we've got. Okay, that is the uh, single player mode. Let me need to get a knob. Actually, I need a tripod. Let me um let me change it to two player mode, and we'll see whether we've got the second player. Okay. Okay, second player is plugged in here. Um, and yep, there we go. We've got both players now. So looks pretty good. Uh, where are we? So yeah, it's, it's going to be almost impossible to play this, uh, but it does appear to be doing its thing now. We reset there. Uh, that button's a bit sticky. Actually, I might might pull that uh, even further apart in there and and make sure that turns. But yeah, I'll, I'll clean up this um this selector here. That that may be causing some noise, and um, I don't think there's much left that would be causing this ghosting. It could just be the television's not properly tuned in. I I did muck around with it a little bit, um, but it it probably has more to go. Um, so yeah, I'll um I'll clean it all out. I'll button it all up, and we'll come back. For the final test. Okay, we're all back together. Um, I was going to show you inside this control panel, but it was pretty boring. Um, um, pretty much the only thing uh, worthy of note is that um, it was a, uh, an extra spring on uh, one of the the contacts. Now that one's quite loose. May, may need to go on that one as a secondary, but uh, that's fine. Uh, it should work. Uh, so we're all buttoned up here. Yeah, let's pop it on. And again, you know, we've got some ghost things, but, um, but you know, it's manageable. Um, let's have a look. This is in uh, the wrong mode. We need this one. Uh, this is sort of a classic Pong, I guess you'd call it. Uh, the reset button, these are all working now. So we go reset, and where's our second player? There we go. And we can do auto serve. And watch me try and uh, play this. Nope. Oh. And I am awful. It's been a while. Anyway, uh, we're all back together. And uh, yeah, ready to go for another 40 years or whatever. Thanks, guys.